Let's have fun here with quadratics. I'm looking at ax squared plus bx plus c, a quadratic equation equal to zero. If I were to manipulate this algebraically by means of completing the square technique and solving for x, I can derive the quadratic formula. I will show it to you. Push the c onto the other side and from here isolate your a. You have a, then you have x squared plus b over ax is equal to minus c. Push the a onto the other side. You'll have here a minus c over a. Now look here at this term b or ax you'll do b or a times one or two you're only looking at the coefficient of the x you'll square this this is the term b square over four a square which will come right over here and it'll come on the other side so let's bring it in we have b square over four a square coming through as part of your completing the square technique keep in mind this coefficient a has been pushed onto the other side what do we have over here we'll have here an x square plus b over ax plus b square over four a square and you add it here, plus b squared over 4a squared. Bring this into a better term. You have a x plus b over 2a whole square. Now you're seeing we've gotten rid of two x's. We're down to a single x. It's easier to solve for x from here and derive the quadratic formula. Rewrite this with the positive term first and a common denominator, 4a squared. You'll have a b squared. You have a 4a squared. a goes in that 4a squared. 4a times multiply with that minus c. You'll have a minus 4ac. Push this two exponent on the other side, you'll bring in your what? Plus and minus square root. I can bring in the square root uniformly across the entire numerator or denominator. I can separate it individually with one here, one here using your property as radicals, which is what I'll do. B squared minus 4ac in its own root and 4a squared in its own root. And you have that plus and minus. You have x plus b over 2a is equal to this. Push this on the other side and it'll subtract. But I'm going to put this term before all of this term because you can. You have x is equal to minus b over 2a plus and minus. And now I'm looking at a b squared minus 4ac over. You see this term right there? Square root 4a squared. It comes out as a 2a. You have this. You have common denominators here. You can bring them under a common denominator of 2a and combine your numerator terms to arrive at your quadratic formula. Minus b plus and minus square root b square minus 4ac is equal to x and your formula is derived using simply algebra and completing the square technique.